Emergency Fire and EMS on the location of the emergency. Uh, Bonanza Creek Ranch has had two people accidentally shot on a movie set by a prop gun. We need help immediately. That was the ominous 911 call made moments after actor Alec Baldwin accidentally fired a loaded prop gun with live rounds killing the director of photography. That was Helena Hutchins. Uh, they were on set filming the new movie, Rust. Yeah, now there are some new details that are beginning to emerge, including that Baldwin was practicing pointing the revolver at the camera. Uh, the director telling investigators that he remembers hearing the phrase, cold gun, uh, indicating that the firearm was not loaded and it was safe for use, but couldn't remember if the gun was in fact checked after returning from a lunch break. So here to break down all of that, the call and uh, look into how this could have possibly happened is former CIA agent Mike Baker. Mike, thank you very much for joining us. Um, what does the description cold gun mean to you? And if it was checked before lunch and they say maybe it wasn't checked after lunch, why would have, uh, why would it have been loaded in the interim anyway during a lunch break? Yeah, uh, I mean, the first thing to note is that th th there's no such thing as an accidental discharge or a mishap. There's only uh, mistakes, screw-ups, negligence. That's all there is when, when you have an issue like this, whether it's on a movie set or, or you know, whatever it may be. So um, it's I, once we walk this back and they're able to reverse engineer the, the chain of custody of this weapon, they will find that it was uh, negligence. There was, there was, uh, there's no other way to put this. So when you say a cold gun, it's, it's, it's sort of slang. Uh, if you're on a range and you're firing and you're about to go live, you know, the range is hot, um, meaning you're about to, you know, uh, start firing weapons, you've got live ammunition. Uh, a cold gun, theoretically, in a movie set, means uh, that there is no, uh, there, there are no rounds in this, whether they're blanks, uh, you know, or, or there's been, frankly, there should never be live ammunition on a movie set anyway. So, uh, but blanks, the, the, the difference here is a blank simply has a shell casing, um, explosive a primer. It has everything a, a live round has. It just doesn't have a projectile, but it's still dangerous. And they're clearly, the armorer on the set the assistant director who was handling the weapon, uh, Alec Baldwin himself, who failed to check the weapon when he received it and just took the word of whoever said it's a, it's, it, it's a cold gun. Um, it's all negligence. And, you know, I, I'm not a lawyer. I have no idea what that means down the road. I can just tell you from a weapon safety perspective, there were a lot of screw ups here. Um, since the accident, a resurfaced tweet is kind of weird. 2017 shows Alec Baldwin saying, I wonder how it must feel to wrong, wrongfully kill someone. I don't know if that was a political statement he had at the time. Mm. Um, I'm kind of curious, Mike, you've done a lot of stuff in TV. Um, is there a difference? I don't know whether the, the armorer here was a member of a union. I know that Hollywood is very uh, controlled, if you will. They have a lot of unions with hands-on uh, some people like that, some people don't. And then to, to, to shoot cheaper, sometimes they go somewhere else, like, let's say, Santa Fe, New Mexico. Doesn't mean everybody was non-union, but does right. that have any effect in this kind of scenario? Well, um, it, it shouldn't when you're talking about safety concerns and protocols for weapons. It's a very clear process. And again, whether you're on a movie set, whether you're at a range, uh, you know, whether you're out hunting, it, it's all the same process, right, in terms of how you handle uh, that that weapon and how you understand when you hand it off to somebody what needs to happen and what you do with a weapon and your, your, the, the basic protocols of, of not pointing it at something you're not willing to kill um, and you know, understanding what's behind your target. And, and it, it, it's so, I don't want to say simple, but it is. This is not rocket science. So whether they were union or not, look, the armorer apparently was a 24-year-old um, I've known some extremely capable young people who have uh, served in theaters of war at that age and, and, you know, are very, very disciplined when it comes to weapons. So I don't want to put anything into the age, and nor do I want to put anything into whether it was union or non-union. I'm just saying, regardless of whether it was union, non-union, young or old, uh, there are mistakes here. It's not accidental. It's negligent. It could have been prevented. That's the very, very sad thing. And it's a sad thing of any uh, event like this. 
could be prevented. Why would live ammunition ever be used on a set? Well, again, I, I, I suspect what they're saying by live ammunition was there were blanks in the weapon. Uh, again, blanks are dangerous in a weapon. They've, we've had problems before. There have been other deaths on sets uh, where it's just been blanks. Um, to, if it was a live round, it was an actual round with projectile in it, uh, something you would you know, take out hunting as an example, okay. there is no excuse. It shouldn't, it should never, should never happen. So, but I think when they're referring to uh, a live round, um, I, I suspect they, they're referring to blanks in the weapon and often in, in a movie or a TV show, they use blanks. They still use blanks because they want that, that realism, right? There's a flash, a muzzle flash. Uh, there is recoil. Uh, again, you're getting everything without the projectile, but it's still, you know, I can't say this often enough, it's still dangerous. Mm -hmm. The armor on set, the assistant director, the director, uh, the producers who are working on this thing, Alec Baldwin, the actors, everyone, uh, you you walk through a protocol. I do this mm -hmm. with my children, you know, who go hunting. You know, every time you, you do the same process when you hand over a weapon, the weapons are locked and secured. They're never available, never passed around. There is a, it is a very standard process and it clearly wasn't followed here. And again, it's, it's a tragedy because it could have been prevented. All right, Mike Baker, thank you very much for the insight. Sure, thank you. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.